Emily Blunt, always Emily uh, beautiful, Bl beautiful, always amazing. And when the salmon, salmon are coming out. Comes out. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Kristen Wiig moments. Well, remind me again, what, what, what is your real name? Karen. <laughs> okay, well I did it as a prank, but maybe you didn't see it like that. Everyone thinks it's funny. I've done this to hundreds of my friends. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the most hilarious, side-splitting moments from one of the best comedians of the 21st century. Which of these made you laugh the loudest? Tell us in the comments. Number 10. Youth Milk, Zoolander 2. Is your skin dry and cracked? Make it wet and shy on me. Youth milk absorbs into the skin like water into a spy orange. Under several heavy layers of prosthetics, Kristen Wiig promoted the highly anticipated Zoolander 2 with this special teaser in 2016. Featuring Wig dolled up as her character, Alexanya Ataz, the queen of haute couture, the video is staged like a commercial. What if you could turn back time and be baby again, but not by so stupid? An almost unrecognizable Kristen walks us through the science behind Alexanya's brand, House of Ataz, her fictional skincare company. Her accent is unidentifiable and her speech is inaudible. But like always, Wig still manages to earn more than her fair share of laughs in this brilliantly crafted mock ad. House of Ethos Yard Milk. Let's get wild. Number 9. Kristen and Seth Clear the Air. Late Night with Seth Myers. Are you even asking for my forgiveness? <laughs> Yeah. During a segment on Late Night with Seth Meyers, the former Saturday Night Live pals Seth and Kristen sat down to air their grievances with one another. The pair confessed truths together, ranging from Kristen mentioning that she didn't know his name to Seth choosing not to use a coaster at her house. Do you forgive me? The coasters were right there. <laughs> I know. This is a tough one for me. I'm apologizing for it. What makes the skit work is their commitment to taking it totally seriously, no matter how ridiculous their admissions get. Despite them never breaking into laughter, you can still sense how much fun the duo is having during this little reunion. Why did you just do that? The coasters were right next to the glasses. They were on the table. You're right. You're right. And I did steal your headphones. I knew it. <laughs> Number eight. Hallelujah, The Late Late Show with James Corden. James Corden is known for incorporating music into many of his segments on his late night talk show. And so it seemed fitting that when Kristen stopped by for an interview in 2017, a performance was in the cards. In response to Turbulent Times, Corden and Wiggs sing a rendition of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift. Everything seems serious as they begin their duet, but as they reach the famous chorus, it becomes clear that Kristen is having trouble pronouncing the words. As the sketch continues, her pronunciation only gets more wrong, driving James up the wall. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Halle Berry. Hickory Farms. Hallelujah. The cherry on top is the gospel choir at the end, who have their own rendition. Why are you singing Hello Julia? Who? <laughs> Hello Julia? Who taught you that? I might have warmed them up <laughs> earlier as a favor. Number seven, Aunt Linda, Saturday Night Live. During her heyday on SNL, Kristen crafted several memorable characters, including fan favorite Aunt Linda. I'm gonna give this one, are you serious? And 10, not this time, Dip. <laughs> well, I heard some people liked it. Not me. Labeled as a cultural correspondent, Linda appeared on Weekend Update in 2013 to review the spring movie lineup. Unfortunately, not much impresses her, leading to lots of eye rolling, groans, and head shaking. To be honest, the only reason
reason I saw the thing was to find out why in the heck that Liam Neeson keeps screaming, release the Kraken. And? Well, I found out. It's because the movie smells like it came out of someone's Kraken because it stinks. Update anchor Seth Meyers can barely hold his laughter in during the segment, echoing the sentiment of the audience. Although there are so many characters in Wig's live Rolodex, Aunt Linda will go down as one of the standouts. One, finally, and three, oh yeah, yes. <laughs> Number six, Golden Globe presentation. The 70th Golden Globe Awards. Of all the shows during awards season, the Golden Globes are always the most fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it's only five, five films. films. It's only five it's films, crazy. so you, you, you just watch them. You em. sit down, you pop them in, you watch them. It's not did. a big deal. It's not a big deal. With the drinks flowing and an excited room full of their peers, Kristen and fellow SNL alum Will Ferrell took advantage of the free spirited energy of the crowd in 2013. Before they even opened their mouths, the two were getting laughs. During their shtick, it becomes clear that the two haven't watched any of the nominated films. No one knows no one what the court it is. <laughs> and it's ambiguous. And you're like, you think you know you're, what it is, and, and then like, that guy comes. comes. And he's like, I think I, think I, know, I know where what the court it is. is. Despite dazzling the room with their off the charts comedic chemistry, they didn't quite win over Tommy Lee Jones. But there's always next time. You get, get out, out of here, you are. You get out. Number 5. Liza Minnelli Tries to Turn Off a Lamp – Saturday Night Live And now, Liza Minnelli tries to turn off a lamp. Joined by SNL host Jonah Hill, Kristen Wiig brought the house down with this hilarious and wacky sketch. The whole premise revolves around stage and screen legend Liza Minnelli attempting to turn off a lamp before she leaves her New York City apartment. Full of kicks, pivots, and fossy flair, Wig perfectly captures Minnelli's essence. You kick it once! You kick it twice! You kick it three times! And the lamp goes out on the party star! Like every impression she does, Wig's performance is never malicious, but is always good fun. During her time on the sketch show, Kristen accumulated an expansive collection of sketches and characters, and this one is definitely a highlight. And we missed the show. The heck with cats, let's dance! <laughs> Number four, lip syncing, the Skeleton Twins. What are you doing? Milo. After finishing her run on SNL, Kristen Wiig pivoted her focus to film and joined former co-star Bill Hader for something a little more serious in the indie film The Skeleton Twins. Following two siblings working on repairing their fractured relationship after Hader's character tries to take his own life, the dramedy received lots of critical acclaim. In one of the film's more light-hearted moments, the twins bond over lip-syncing to the 80s ballad Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now by Starship. It's a sweet, tender, and fun moment that helps balance out the darkness of the film, earning lots of laughs along the way. Number 3. Khaleesi Interview – The Tonight Show Starring Jimmy Fallon As a running gag on The Tonight Show, Kristen comes dressed to impress, as someone else. From Peyton Manning to The Bachelor's Jojo Fletcher, Wig does not so convincing costumes as Jimmy interviews her assumed persona. I have an idea for yes. a good date for you. You should go, maybe go to a movie and a dinner. Would you do that? Oh, I would do that. You would? Yeah. Because there's, there's, there's a, a perfect date a movie good out. Movie coming out. This Which weekend. Which one? It's called Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah, that's and this a, is it has. That's a, supposed to be really good. During her visit in 2015, Wig came as the mother of dragons. Khaleesi, aka Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. Complete with a blonde wig and a dragon perched on her shoulder, she drops in and out of a British accent. The <laughs> dragons helped me build it. <laughs> and do you, uh, did you just lose your accent? or No. Barely able to contain their composure, Jimmy and Kristen giggle their way through the segment, making for one of Wig's most memorable interviews ever. I do spells on people. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a witch type of thing? No. I don't know. Sure. No. You sure I you also can. tell jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, the May Haral sisters sketch, Saturday Night Live. During a sketch parodying the wholesome The Lawrence Welk show, Kristen Wiig debuted one of her most popular characters to date. 
In the sketch, the Mayhorel sisters, a singing and dancing group, introduce themselves one by one until they reveal their last sister, Dunice. I'm Nora. And I'm Dunice. Sporting a large wig cap and tiny baby hands, Dunice sings off kilter lyrics that lead to concerning confessions. I found a dead cat on the side of the road, so I took it home and put some honey on. The character made such an impression that she made a handful of appearances during Wig's SNL run, pushing the boundaries of the character a little further each time. Wonderful. Was her forehead really big or was I looking through a couple of bubbles? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Bjork, Saturday Night Live. Kristen's spot-on impression of the Icelandic performer. You are on fire. A demon takes your face. Michael Jordan interview, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Kristen dresses up as the basketball legend for an interview with Jimmy Fallon. So if you can do stuff like this, I, I was no. just wearing this. Yeah, you wear you wear that you wear I that wear out. all the time. I got you look you look uh, I mean in a good way you look different in person. Thanks. Yeah, really yeah. good. Uh, Taller. Chris Jenner, Saturday Night Live. Her impression of the most famous momager in Hollywood. I know a lot of people think that Kim got married just to earn over $17 million from the wedding, but that's not true. She also got married for attention. What do I have to do for attention? <laughs> Kill somebody? Target Lady, Saturday Night Live. This character was a fan favorite during her run on SNL. It's gonna be 4211. Right, here you go. A 50! <laughs> Annie's Meltdown, Bridesmaids. Kristen's character Annie destroys a giant cookie in a fit of rage. Maybe it's better if I dip it in their chocolate. Oh. Is this what you want, Lillian? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Airplane Scene – Bridesmaids In the breakout comedy event of 2011, Bridesmaids took audiences by storm with this laugh-a-minute rom-com co-created by and starring Wig. I just feel like I'm excited and I feel relaxed and I'm ready to pop! In the film, she plays Annie, a former baker, whose life goes off the rails when her BFF gets engaged and starts to form a close bond with another bridesmaid. En route to the bachelorette party in Las Vegas, Annie's aerophobia gets the better of her, and she treats her anxious state with some prescription pills and alcohol. Here, Wig gets to play to her full comedic potential using her signature physical comedy to amp up the character's intoxicated state. I'm uh, Mrs. Iglesias. Uh, Mrs. Iglesias? Uh, no, you're not. You were just out here and you put sunglasses on. Out. But I don't want to. In an interview with Vanity Fair, director Paul Feig revealed that some of the moments were not scripted, showcasing Kristen's improv skills are at their peak. Are you an appliance? No, I'm a man, and my name is Steve. You're a flight attendant. That's absolutely accurate. You can close that. Thank you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.